Melanie Bannister from Silver Learning here on the BT Couch. Good morning. Good morning. You're going to help us foster and teach our children to have gratitude. Yes, gratitude is so important to help developing kids. They show studies show that adults are happier when they're grateful and they're more satisfied with their lives. And the same holds true for kids, uh, especially as they get into those preteen and teenage years. Uh, studies show that kids that are grateful are um, happier. They're more engaged in their hobbies and in their schoolwork, and they're more involved in their community. Now you brought along this piggy bank. I think I need to get one of these. Where did you get, where, where did you get this from, and what is it? Um, I think I picked that up. At home since a couple of years ago. I bought one for each of my kids and the idea is that they any birthday money or Christmas money or even if your kids get an allowance they can save it that's the the biggest one they have a slot for spending and they have a slot for sharing. For sharing. Yeah. And one of the great things um, that we can do for our kids is give them the gift of experience as well not just right. this is what you must do tell us more about that. Yeah I think um, I hear from a lot of families that they're getting overwhelmed with the amount of stuff coming into their home and they it takes a lot of time and space and energy to deal with all the stuff so another a neat idea to avoid bringing more things into your home and to be more environmentally conscious that we're not having so many things is to give a child a gift of experience um, their birthdays all through the year graduation coming up and at Christmas and this will not only you know give them some really magical memories that they carry forward through life but it can also open up some doors for them as they move into their teenage years and into thinking about careers. And we want to teach them skills as well. I remember my mom when I very first learned to cook. She said, if I can teach you how to make an egg, yeah. you'll always be able to feed yourself. She's right. Yeah, absolutely. A cooking class is a great idea so that kids can cook for themselves down the road. And then if your child shows a real interest in that and they get past those basics, it's a neat idea to take a cooking class with your child and maybe you start delving into some learning how to cook Thai cuisine or Italian. They'll always eat what they cook. <laughs> exactly. That's the way to get your exactly. kids to eat vegetables. <laughs> now, some kids are sort of born with that innate empathy mm -hmm. and others are not. If uh, you run across a child who doesn't have that, what are some of the steps that you can take to help them? Yeah, well, I think a, a really important thing is to model that behavior because kids are born with an innate sense of uh, charity and compassion. And as a parent, you want to help to develop that. So uh, go out and volunteer your time at a local soup kitchen or a, you know, a food bank um, or for a charity. Lots of charities nowadays have family events, so the kids get to come out and have fun at the event. And as an adult, you're helping out. And then you can talk to your child about what does it mean and you know how help them understand the world and that not everyone is as lucky as they are and that's the key because it's not a it's not a drill down you should be thankful for what you have mm -hmm. it's recognizing how thankful you should be yes. and teaching that gratitude all right so uh, we're gonna we're gonna give the gift of experience we're gonna model ourselves and uh, we're gonna save appropriately <laughs> once we do save how do you suggest we teach our kids to actually deliver this deliver on this savings. Okay, yeah, because, uh, you know, when you're saving, for a child, a young child, uh, just donating money, that's a bit of an abstract concept for them, so they don't always make that connection that the money they're giving may be buying bread for somebody or maybe buying clean water. So that's where getting involved um, and, you know, even the, something like uh, going through their, their clo old clothes that they don't fit anymore or their toys that they don't use anymore right. and to take those to charity and see that they're giving it to somebody. Uh, right. that don't makes do it more. for them while they're sitting on the <laughs> exactly. IPad, take yes, them down absolutely. to Covenant House and drop it off or yeah. take them online to the Red Cl yeah. Cross and say, here, we're sending money to Nepal. And have them involved in cleaning out those closets because then it, it means more to them as well. That is a great idea. Melanie, it was good to see you. Nice to see Come you. Come back and see us again soon.